All right, now it's the fun time of what we both love. We've got the car home. We gotta wash it up and get it all clean. Now let's just get started cleaning. But before we do, let's go over the products, right? Because everybody wants to know what products do I need to use when I'm gonna clean up a car. Yep. Let's go over a couple of things. We got some tools, we got some brushes. We'll even get into brushes. For everybody that loves to know, what brushes do I use, right? So let's go over yeah. all this fun stuff. Okay, so we got a used car, new to us, or a new car, doesn't matter. We're always gonna prep the vehicle when we get home, right? This is, this is what we call prep. Uh, this is what we call first deep clean, whatever you wanna say, okay? There's all kinds of the terms. first moment, right? Yeah, so we're gonna take cleanse. Cleanse is our purifying shampoo. A lot of guys call it strip wash, decon wash, whatever terminology you use. We're gonna put cleanse into our foam cannon. Again, a couple ounces. One of the things you'll notice about cleanse for us is it's low viscosity. Mixes very well, has a little bit higher pH. Okay, it's not a pH neutral soap on purpose because we don't know what the dealership did. We don't know what the previous owners did. We want to strip this vehicle down so we can make the assessment on what we want to do. The other thing is they use a lot of products, glazes and different types of things, different types of spray waxes can hide a lot. We want to get all that off. It's at our house. We want to now start the process for ourselves. We're going to go ahead and put a few ounces. Now Nick, why aren't you getting out like the little measuring and you know, like. Well, you know, we've talked about this a lot. All of us know what a couple ounces looks like, right? You've kind of said this on a video. I've said this on videos. To me, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. It's just not who I am. It's not kind of how what we say. We all know what a couple ounces looks like. This is a very affordable soap, so that, that's kind of the reason why. For our wheel bucket, let's go over some brushes, right? So this question we get all the time. What brushes? What brushes do I use? What brushes do you like? Look, we have really kind of a few here, but the first one is some type of easy detail brush, okay? Now, one of the important things is, is that this rubber tip stays intact. If not, you're going to have metal and it actually scratches a lot of wheels. And it, it kind of looks like it's almost broken. And some people might be like, "Man, you guys got a ganky brush. No, it's, it's designed to be able to flex yep. and move. And yep. And look, this will cause some this to break a little quicker, but it makes it easier on you. It makes it easier on your guys if you're running a shop or doing it yourself or you're just a DIYer. Then we have a lug nut brush, right? Real simple, real soft. Okay, we have a tire brush, okay? Pretty stiff bristled. Uh, I don't know who makes this one, doesn't really matter. You just want something with some stiff bristles, nice handle, easy to work with. And then we have kind of the dying breed. We don't see these. This is a boar's hair, extremely soft brush, helps you on wheel faces. Again, could you use a towel dedicated for that? Could you use a wash mitt dedicated for that? Off. Yeah, you, you could use whatever you want here. But we get asked all the time about brushes. Again, something to get in the barrel, something to get the tight spots, something to scrub the rubber down. We're pretty much golden at that point, mm -hmm. right? And you do want to switch it up, right? You don't want to just use, here's what some people go like, hey, listen, I can use this on my tire, on the rubber. It's okay if I just go ahead and rub it down on the wheel. No, that, it's too stiff, right? You're going to scratch. It's going to work good. Yeah, it is going to work good, but you're going to scratch a lot, okay? Look, for me, I, I wish that more people made that ultra soft brush that we showed, that boar's hair brush, uh, because it, it's just kind of gone out of fashion for whatever reason. Uh, I know some companies make them, but they are getting harder to find. This is, is something last time I was here, I really forgot how much I missed these types of brushes. So if you can find one, a cut, there's probably one or two manufacturers. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing is super, it's super soft. It's great on the face of the wheel. It yeah. really does. It yeah. saves a bunch of time. You'll love it. So... We got, that's our wheel bucket. We're gonna have TRX for all the, 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 the tires, undercarriage, fender wheel, or inside the fender wells. Lower rockers. Lower rockers. You know, you can even do some, some stuff down in the lower front. So this is gonna go on our wheel bucket. This is probably mixed about two to one. You can mix it all the way four to one. Here's the thing. We're just gonna take a little bit. I know it's diluted, but we're gonna make sure that we got enough in there. So we got that in our wheel bucket. Then we got our iron decon for our wheels. These are pretty heavily caked with some iron. This is Fuego. That's gonna go on my wheel bucket. And we're pretty much ready to go. The only thing we're gonna do is 
This is our wash media. These are our versatiles. Some of you have seen them where they have yellow. Now they're just an all gray towel. Uh, manufacturers make changes all the time. Same exact towel, just colored a little differently. And we're going to go ahead and throw that into... We don't uh, need this, huh, do we? <laughs> all right, I guess I'll take this out because... <laughs> Well, we're not going to be dumping those back in. No. So we don't need a guard of any way. Yeah. And, and Makes sense. That, uh, that got a lot of conversation. <laughs> we weren't going after a specific manufacturer. It's like saying the word Kleenex instead of tissue. It's just a brand. Relax. Just not something that we need with our system. And that's okay. Um, you could do this with wash pads. You know, if you got enough wash pads, wash media, choose what you like. Again, if you see our process, we have a video out there, a few videos now where we're using this process. It's just about making things simpler, also not reintroducing dirt anywhere else in the vehicle. Get it off the car, never reintroduce it anywhere. Cool. So those go in. We'll do that, that fun foam thing here when we get the pressure washer out. But basically, we're kind of all set up, right? This is a pretty basic setup that's gonna do a lot for you to prep this vehicle you just got. And remember, new, or used, you have no idea what the previous people did. So this is really an assessment period when you start detailing your vehicle, or if you're a professional out there doing this for somebody, this is a good process. And it's for, for us that like to clean cars, right? And like our cars, it's yep. that first moment where we get to go have this new, we call it experience, some of us bond, yeah. right? Some of us, not Nick, but some of us might pick out our name of our car, <laughs> right? Like. Why That's not my move. I know, don't but put, right, like, don't put that there on is me. a part where some of us do take this moment and really kind of really get to know the vehicle. It becomes ours, yeah. right? Like this is Th our this joining is, this moment. Is, this is total for me analyzing what I have. That's what I'm doing, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, it's important because you, you, you'll you be surprised. You're going to see some scratches show up. You're going to mm -hmm. see some swirling show up. And then you can start to assess what you want to do to the vehicle. And then when we get to the drying part and that stuff later, we'll then not start to see, well, where's my water pull up? Where does this vehicle like to drip from? Yeah. You know, all that stuff that when we're trying to finish out the vehicle, it's great as we're starting to learn our new vehicle. Yeah, agreed. We can get to know this stuff. So, all right, let's all right, get guys, going. Let's go. I'm going to start going around, hitting all the little rubber. You can take what, Fuego? Yeah. Start letting it soak in. Make sure you're doing this. Things are, you know, uh, cool to the touch. Obviously, we're not spraying this on anything that's hot. How long has the customer had this car? Uh, just only uh, about a month. Just about a month. They already got the, the tags off, right? Got those paper tags off. And, uh, well, you know, they... They're already starting to enjoy the vehicle, I guess, right? They had hit us up, you know, said, hey, you know, we got this vehicle, love to get it in. I said, can't we just wait for a moment, right? Like, <laughs> I got you coming in, we're gonna shoot some stuff. So it worked out really great for them to, to just hold on for a moment. And they, they kept it in pretty decent shape, right? Like over the last month, it's, it's not too bad. Now, when, when we're doing wheels, I think some people will question, yeah, I know they question, how much do I put on? How much do I spray? Do I, I spray every part? Am I, am I getting all the way in? I'm taking Fuego and I'm going every part of this barrel. I'm wanting, this is my first initial wash, right? So I want to make sure I'm getting it all over the place. Yeah, and, and we like doing this, or I do, I should say. I like doing this on a dry you know, not a pre-rinse. I don't want to go in and pre-rinse the wheels. This is the first, you know, it's kind of, we shared a video where we do that on really hammered stuff, you know, to kind of give us, uh, you know, a little bit of cleaning power there. So I'm not looking to save product. I'm not looking to cut a corner here. I am spraying pretty liberally. We have some mud and stuff caked on, dirt caked on on the inner fenders here. So... We're just, a, I'm, I'm just such a big believer is I'm trying to make my life really simple. So I, I take, I take TRX, we got plastic all along the bottom. So I'm taking TRX as I go wheel to wheel and just kind of soaking down the bottom rockers, the plastic, letting this stuff work. And, uh, you know, this is 
kind of what my guys do. You know, this is kind of how we train them. Let's, let's let the chemical do some work here. So, but I, I always find this part fun. I've bought and sold a lot of vehicles and for some reason that first, mm -hmm. you know, again, there's levels to details, right? We're not sitting here doing extensive paint correction right now on this video, but this could set you up to do that, by the way. You know, this is a, another good process. You know, it's just a pure prep process. And actually, cars would be in a lot better shape if dealerships and private sellers prep their cars before sale in this way. But, you know, that's what we do. And so I'm going to spray a little bit on the back bumper here. Mm -hmm. Now, it is interesting who, who questions back and forth about, you know, how much product or, you know, that's wasting... You, you do have some theories that using too much product is just a waste. Like you don't need to do, I, we've seen people go, hey, you know, they want to know about products, they want to know about all the stuff, but then they'll, they'll see us use something and they'll go, wow, that's too much of that. Or, hey, why <laughs> don't you just put a degreaser all over the tire and the wheel and the fender, right? Like there is some of those old school harsh degreasers that, yeah. hey, they do clean really well. And there's a theory of, man, just use that like a, an all purpose, like completely all over. Sure. And you just get the job done. Yeah. And, and one of the things that I'm looking for here as I walk around, everything's still lubricated. Obviously, if we were working in direct sunlight, you'd have to cut this process down probably wheel to wheel. But I'm letting this stuff kind of eat, right? Mm -hmm. Like, let it eat. Let it, let's see what's going on because the next move is whatever doesn't get off in this first round, I got to scrub off. And anytime I have to scrub something off, man, I got chance of damage, uh, a lot of elbow grease. Look, we all want to make this process super enjoyable. So I just rather do it this way to, to make it more enjoyable. Now, mind you, I started on that side, you started on this side. So we have a little bit of a different drying process, but I think I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to quickly rinse all of this and then, then we'll go back and we'll kind of agitate it with brushes and all that kind of stuff. Wait, the, the use too much people are going to freak out now. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be all right. Uh, like I said, it's just about making my life easier, right? And I do think it's a deeper clean when you kind of let things set up and do their thing. Um, you know, so that's where we'll go here. All right, so we just rinsed everything off these wheels. Now this is where I'm going to go in and kind of, let's call it the scrubbing solution, right? This is where we're gonna go in and start doing some scrubbing. Here, if you just wanna follow me. You don't like me being on the opposite wheel, do you? <laughs> Why is it that you, you, you're pretty particular that way? I don't know, man, I mean. We it's part of process, right? Yeah, like we, Once you get into a rhythm, and that's what we teach that you actually should find some type of process, some type of rhythm, and you repeat it over and over and over. Yeah, and I mean, this is what my guys do, right? Day in and day out. Whether we're prepping for PPF, prepping for ceramic coating, you know, doing a basic maintenance on a ceramic coated vehicle. It's like everybody follows everybody. And, you know, for lack of, you know, better way of saying it, it just keeps everybody out of each other's way, right? You work a lot of hours together. <laughs> As you know, things can get a little bit testy. Oh, okay. And so it kind of keeps everybody, you know, in their own rhythm and they don't feel like they're bumping into people. And so I just kept kept this. Follow the leader helps everybody play along together. <laughs> huh? So probably something I'm going to do since we, we used a little bit of TRX on this. I'm going to take the rest of the TRX just because I know next time I'm going to need it or whatever. I need to refill it anyway. I just take the rest of my TRX and dump it in the bucket. Remember, we diluted it. So it's not it's not like we wasted any product or anything like that. We oh, just... We'll get it in the bucket. We'll use it. Yeah. yeah. So this is where a lot of people uh, get bent out of shape here, Marty, as you know. We're going to be sitting on stools. They're like, hey, professionals don't sit on stools. I know, dude. We're uh, recording a video and just trying to be a little bit more comfortable. And uh, 
I do. I sit on stools. I'm old man. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, again, we're, we're one tread in people. I just want to clean this up. And we're only doing this. You can clean uh, whichever one you want to be in. So Marty, make sure you take that easy detail and get up in these fender wells. It's a little bit better than this brush. But yeah, we're, go we're good to go. All right, so we did say we're always going to want to do the face first, right? <laughs> I, I always ah, do. Ah, look at me. I went down at 6 o'clock. All right, 12 o'clock. And again, it's just about being organized. I get it's not rocket science what we're doing here, but it keeps us organized, knows know where we're at. If you're detailing a lot of cars or it's a hot day, it's easy to kind of lose. One of the things I do... Notice, I don't know if this happens out here as much. I'm assuming it happens everywhere. We've been, get, we've been getting a ton of nails and tires. Oh, yeah. Tons of nails. You know, uh, so one thing we do during all of our details is to analyze the rubber now and make sure nothing's stuck, nothing's, you know, <laughs> in the tire. I mean, we've had an uptick here the last... However many years, man, I can't explain it, but I mean, we have it every week now. I mean, we're dealing with, there's just so much construction where I live, oh. you know, I'm guessing it's just, just a cost of doing business. All right, now, if we're, if we're people that like to rinse out our, our brush that you've taught us in the video, we should probably go over something I just did and I just sprayed it all over the car, right? <laughs> yep. Like, it gotta does happen. It gotta, does happen. Gotta spray away. <laughs> all right, so now I'll come in with my real soft brush. Um, yeah, once I get this rubber scrubbed down, I'll come in and... Just gently... Gently go over. Now, we've got these black, you know, soft, matte, but it's got a clear coat on Ooh. it. You know, we know that... We know that these wheels have a clear coat, but we still need to be careful around black. And that's, I'm going to say that's a big reason why I like these boar's hair brushes. Yeah, that's nice. That one's actually really nice. We haven't hopped much into putting a lot of accessories in our store. We wanted to be concentrated on, you know, what we do well. And we got a lot of things we're building out here. You know, so it's it's one of those things, man, like, you know, we got to kind of focus on what we can focus on and call it a day. But we'll get there for sure. There I am. So that is, as people have said in the comments stuff, like, oh, that's too much, you know. So I'm one of those that does fight that not going in at the same spot. Like, I'm with you. This is the, the way, like, start up high, start at 12. I just have always found myself just to start going in and getting after it, you know, like it does, it is a little different to adapt to a new system. Oh yeah. And I understand that. And like I said, it's just because, you know, remember not everybody's where you're at. There's some guys just getting their start, right? And they just want to learn the basics. There's some guys that know a lot and they've been, you know, are looking for more advanced techniques. I get that, man. Everybody's different. Now, if you got a grid guard, in, and it's not about brand, so thanks for pointing out, just call it a guard, right? If you got a guard in your bucket, what'd be wrong with just going and cleaning it off in my bucket? Well, I, first of all, I'd said that that metal stud's going to get a, stuck in all those little crevices. But, you know, to me, you just got to rinse it out. And again, if you have a well-maintained vehicle, as we've stated before, it's not ne as necessary. So let me rinse this one No, down. hold on. I realize I didn't do something. I was going to ask you. I realize I, was... I didn't do something. There you go. Wow, Marty doing half the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for all you following at home, I already had that as a checklist. I missed that one, you bet. Even when he told me to do it, I still missed it. These wheels are actually in pretty good shape, to be honest. I, I was surprised too, besides that little curb rash that you've seen, uh, whoever had this vehicle before did take care of these wheels. They did. Yeah. 
one of two things. Either somebody did an awesome job refinishing them. Yeah. And, and the curb was hit in the last couple weeks, or... I, I don't think so, because it got some more curb rash over here. Gotcha. So I think they they were curby people, but uh, they at least they at least didn't damage the... You know, you just see so many black wheels that they're not pure black anymore. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're kind of a, Gray. a, a charcoal-y, you know, <laughs> dark black. Definitely the front uh, wheels have a lot more brake dust than the back wheels. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> now, and there's all... some vehicles, though, that do have uh, back wheels that are just almost as bad oh, as... Oh, yeah, agreed. Now, yeah. certain models of vehicles, right, because of bigger the driving SUV, system. Bi hey, bigger SUVs for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, more now, right? So bigger SUVs just used to have, you know, re rely real heavily on the front brakes, but that, that's gotten a little better. Yeah, it's gotten a little better. Yeah. But we will always generally have more brake dust, yeah. always is, more brake dust on the front. This is like one of those times, you know, you, you've bought a lot of vehicles in your life, same with me. You really pay attention for some reason on that first time you get the car home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never quite pay attention like that ever again. You know, you're like, ah, I gotta, I gotta wash my car, I gotta detail my car, I gotta do this. But it's like the first time, this, this sort of is like the longest detail I usually do. Yeah. You know? Let's get this. All right. Wheels, tires, fender wells, good shape.